I'm Mary Poppin with Boris Effects, and today we're going to go over some mocha tips, how to create masks with less keyframes. I'm going to teach you how to visualize planes, where to split roto up, what paper doll style roto is, and how to think like an animator, and we're going to go over saving keyframes and time. Mocha is a vital masking and roto tool that simplifies a lot of the tedious frame-by-frame -frame animation you'd normally have to use when isolating objects or people in a scene. We call this rotoscoping. Sometimes users will think the best workflow is to draw one large shape and then track the entire object, but this is not an effective way to reduce time, and you will have to do a lot of manual keyframing. The key to quick roto inside of Mocha is to use planar tracking data to reduce your manual keyframes and save tons of time. If you want to get your shots out the door quickly, you will need to understand how to visualize planes and separate your layers like a paper doll or a marionette puppet. The key is thinking in terms of planar data. Mocha is a texture tracker, and it tracks a pattern of pixels moving relative to one another, which is to say, a texture that's moving in one direction, one at a time. If you think of your object in terms of low-poly models or cubist terms, you can see where the planes split. You need to split the roto based on these planes. For instance, when I track this arm, the forearm to the elbow is a single plane of data, moving together, while the elbow and the shoulder is another plane of data. If I track the arm at once, I might not get a good track as the arm straightens and bends, but by separating the layers, I let Mocha do the bulk of the work. Think of Mocha as our roto intern, doing the main tweening animation based on tracking data. After tracking, I'll then go through and add in-betweening keyframes to correct the work. As you edit the shape, you are only correcting the spline points and not affecting the overall tracking motion. So with these two layers of animation, Mocha allows you to get away with a lot. You save time because you're making less keyframes, and your roto moves more correctly because there's less jittery hand animation. The simple fact is, Mocha's a computer, and we're not. Getting hand rotoscoping right takes a lot of work. When I am done with my roto work, I can export out the animated shape data to almost any editing or VFX system on the market. If I'm using the Mocha plugin, I can also view the roto as a mat or cutout with an alpha. In After Effects, we have this nifty Create AE Masks button, and if I am accessing Mocha from Boris Continuum or the Sapphire plugins, we simply close the Mocha instance and have our isolated effect. And a big shout out to Pond5 for supplying us with this wonderful stock footage. I am Mary Poplin with Boris Effects. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.borisfx.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.